everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle and today I'm going to be reviewing Brian's Winter by Gary Paulson. Here's a look at it. And um, but if for those of you that don't know, this is part two to Hatchet. And if you guys want me to review that, make sure you comment down below and I will be more than happy to do that. Before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. I'm really excited to be doing this, so let's get right into it. I'm going to read the back real quick. So, in the new Barry Honor winning hatchet, 13 year old Brian Robinson learned to live, to survive alone in the Canadian wilderness, armed with only his hatchet. Finally, as millions of readers know, he was rescued at the end of the summer. But what if Brian hadn't been rescued? What if he had been left to face his deadliest enemy, winter? So he was uh, in, alone in the Canadian wilderness. For those of you that don't know, he was on a plane and he was going to go visit his father. And the plane crashed, so he was left in alone in the Canadian wilderness with only his hatchet. And uh, towards the end of the hatchet, he retrieves a... Um, survival package from the plane and um if you guys would like me to review that again make sure you comment down below and i'll be more than happy to do that hatchet was a very exciting book and it was very interesting to see how brian was going to survive in the winter he had some deadly encounters with a moose who almost killed him but he ended up killing the moose with one of his arrows and he learns to do so many different things and again he does get rescued in this book and it's so cool to see how he um, he gets different supplies and how he hunts and how he makes his shelter so that he doesn't freeze to death. It was also really interesting to see how he thought and I was thinking to myself while I was reading this book, what if I thought this way? And it kind of made me change my mindset a little and kind of adjust it to how Brian was thinking. He was thinking about how to survive and the main points and at some point of the book, I was so intrigued by how he he was like he was coming up with all these strategies, strategies, and he wasn't even as afraid as I would be as after um, seeing a bear and having a bear encounter and after a bear had attacked him, and um. Brian ends up making all these arrows, making a shelter, and he ends up killing two. Um, he ends up killing a moose and a deer. And it's so cool to see how he shoots, how he hunts, and it's also interesting because he was he was he was thinking, what um what if I was a part of the wilderness? Which he technically was. He had been uh, in the forest for so long. He basically called it his home at this point. And he has learned to give up hoping because in the last book, Hatchet, he, he really gave up hoping because if you if you look around, there's no planes. Nobody's coming to uh, save him. And he knows that he's probably gonna have to survive here and just wait and wait and wait, or it's just death and, uh, and he's gonna have to deal with it. And he, you know, it's so cool because Hatchet was about summer and um, Brian's winter is about winter, so you get to see how he survives in both. And from what I can tell in this book, Brian was able to survive a lot better in summer, and there were a lot, there was a lot more game and a lot more food, and um, that way he didn't really have to create shelters because there was sun, so he uh, he didn't need to be um, shielded from the snow and from the rain because it wasn't going to. And um, honestly, I really love this book and my rating for it is probably a 9 out of 10. It's a great book. And I think that it was it was just like so cool just to see what, what Brian would do. And I really love how the author shifted perspectives. Like for people who didn't want the ending of Hatchet, they get to see Brian's winter and see Brian survive an entire year in the wilderness. And um, if you guys would like me to review the next book to this, then make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and that like button. Also comment down below what types of videos you guys would like me to make, and what types of books you would like me to review, and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So yeah, that is all for this video, and um, as you guys know, I've introduced a new segment to my book reviews called The Sneak Peek. And it is where I show you guys what the next book I'm going to be reviewing looks like, which in this case is Max's story. 
Okay, and this is by W. Bruce Cam uh, Cameron, A Dog's Purpose Fairy Tale. So, in, uh, in the little print, it says, Little Dog in the Big City. So, I'm really excited to be reviewing this, so make sure you stay tuned on my page because I post every Sunday. And yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!